white people that helps to facilitate colonial domination of Africans and other people uh, in this country and around the world, uh, uh, obviously uh, that's, that's wrong. And I think that uh, Trump uh, uh, is, is correct when he says something to the effect that uh, the anti-racism trainings, for whatever they are worth, uh, uh, exposes the United States government's history uh, and ongoing tradition of uh, exploiting and oppressing uh, Africans and other people who are colonizing the United States. It's something that uh, that uh, this government would not want to recognize. And then, of course, it's something that's done within the context of uh, an election, presidential election, that's going to happen in two months in this country. Uh, and the fact that uh, uh, Donald Trump needs to show his uh, reactionary white uh, colonizer base uh, that he is in charge, he's in control, and that he will uh, not uh, give any credence to uh, any question, uh, any suggestion that uh, colonial white power uh, uh, exist in this country and in the world today as a consequence of what uh, of the horrible things that the U.S. government does to Africans and other other colonized people in this country and, and worldwide. Thank you, Mr. Yeshitello. Now I'm going to swing over to Dr. Randy Short. Hello, Dr. Short. Always a pleasure to have you on Press TV. And I haven't spoken to you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Now, Dr. Short, my question to you: Donald Trump and a lot of the protesters. First of all, let me start off with this: a lot of the protesters and people that we've seen as part of protests, uh, including Black Lives Matter, they, the, part of the reforms they want to see is more training, sensitivity training for police, for law enforcement. Donald Trump is doing exactly the opposite. He's saying having that kind of training implies that there's a racist, uh, systemic problem. Your thought on his narrative on this? <clears throat> well. I keep bringing up the fact that the Department of Homeland Security in 2009, and there are three Department of Homeland Security reports that are not really being uh, addressed that claim that uh, racial terrorism and infiltration of law enforcement by white supremacists and white terrorists is a, a threat to national security, to domestic tranquility, and it undermines the legitimacy of law enforcement. This has been ignored by the previous administration of Barack Obama, who suppressed the report in 2009, and it's being ignored by the current uh, uh, secretary or, or head of the Justice Department, Mr. Barr. I think that Trump's administration has another problem that's not being addressed, and that's the failure of black leadership that's Republican and conservative, as well as those who are on uh, the left, to uh, demand these things. We do have a racial problem in the country. We do have racist police. We have killer cops. The U.S. government says so. And to me, it shows disrespect to the Department of Homeland Security to tell people who are working on your behalf that they don't know anything or that they're wrong. So we have a history of, of slavery, genocide, uh, neo-colonialism, colonialism on a global basis. And it doesn't go away because it's uncomfortable to anyone's base. And it doesn't matter who's in office, whether it's a Democrat or a Republican, we have systemic, structural racism and oppression in the country. It can either be dealt with when we do it like adults, or we end up like other empires that ultimately implode under the weight of these problems that have been neglected for centuries. Thank you, Dr. Short. And uh, Mr. Yeshitela, uh, your further thoughts on this? I mean, if you take sensitivity training out, the few people that it actually impacts, that actually see, maybe you know, there are a lot of people, there's just, there's a, to Dr. Randy Short's point, there's another uh, F ex FBI agent who recently said that he, when he was part of the FBI, he came across reports that there's a lot of white power guys in law enforcement. So, that, I mean, it's been time and again uh, documented that this is a systemic problem. The presence, the ideology, the actual practice, in practice of people getting hurt and affected by this kind of ideology. Why not address it if you're Donald Trump? Why run from it? Well, the, the, the struggle I would have with uh, uh, my dear brother, uh, comrade Randy Short, is that the, the, uh, the Homeland Security and the 
uh, uh, this institution of, of the state uh, in this country themselves are uh, terroristic. Uh, to say that they are terrorists to function inside a terrorist organization, I mean, the, the basis, the founding of these organizations uh, is terrorism, is to maintain the colonial domination of the world. And you can't do that by peace. You don't do that by singing uh, Bible verses. It's through terror. Uh, it is actual terror. It is a threat of terror uh, that Africans and colonized people in this country and around the world live with every day uh, as a consequence of U.S. threats. I mean, you talk about the homeland security being disrespected. Uh, it's certainly not being disrespected by the indigenous people living in these concentration camps they call Indian reservations, or the Mexicans living in barrios and things like that, are Africans who every day of our existence is not you don't need extra uh, legal. You don't need uh, uh, things uh, like uh, white terrorist organizations functioning inside the police department. The police themselves were founded uh, as a part of uh, an organized effort to keep African people enslaved or to, uh, from the Texas Rangers' effort to uh, keep the Mexican people from being able to access their land and territory. So the, the government, uh, the state apparatus itself, is a terrorist institution. And if there are other terrorists uh, inside these institutions, they are poor uh, pale imitations of what the government uh, and the state itself are. Thank you. Dr. Short, we've got a couple minutes left. Uh, your final thoughts, please. My final thoughts, I, I never ever argue in defense of uh, the state and that racism, genocide, slavery, these have all been sanctioned by the state. Uh, I'm never an apologist for racism, structural oppression of black people uh, or any people. Uh, I would say, again, the FBI has come to my house to threaten me. I've been lied on by the FBI. So, and I was on the phone with uh, Alveda King, and we know that the FBI and others uh, had Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and many other people killed and assassinated through COINTEL Counter Pro, which still exists. So uh, let's be certain that there is a colonial relationship between uh, the government and the powers that be, and those people who've been conquered, I call myself an Aboriginal American, I am of African and, and American Indian descent, and uh, my folks are Seminoles, and I had folks, I mean, so we've been through, the Piscatwa went through a genocide. I'm very much aware of it. Uh, if this, if this empire is to survive, they're going to have to change their affairs. If not, we're going to have a problem one day. I don't know how soon, but it's coming. Either you can do right or you're going to suffer for what you've done historically that's wrong. Gentlemen, thank you both for joining us. Uh, it seems like you wanted to say something there, Mr. Yashitella. Go yeah. on, give you about 40 seconds. Yeah, Go ahead, I, just, I just want to say that it's my job to, to uh, make sure that the empire does not survive. Now, there's no such thing as a good empire, that uh, it does not deserve to, uh, to survive. It, it's, its foundation is uh, the enslavement and colonization of African African peoples around the world. It's a menace to, to the uh, planet Earth and everybody on Earth. The United States government and its institutions, uh, they constitute a severe menace to humanity. They must be stopped. And now, uh, so that's, that's, that's where I'm think, coming from. I don't think Dr. Short disagrees with you. Go ahead, Dr. Short, 30 seconds. Well. What I do want is freedom and justice, all power to the people, brother. I don't, um, I don't. Uh, that's, that's, that's fine, but all power to the people. I do. I don't. I bless don't. you, God bless you, brother. All right, all right, gentlemen, stay right. safe. So God bless you both. Thank you both for joining us, and do stay safe. Omali Yeshitela there joining us out of St. Petersburg, Petersburg, Florida, and Dr. Randy Short there joining us out of Washington, D.C., and that's a wrap. For this segment of your Press TV's News Review and your Press TV Bulletin, everyone stay tuned and bye-bye for now.